Hey there. In paleontology, we all know we got a lot of work to do out in the field, in the badlands, in the deserts, whatever. And we also do a lot of work in laboratories on fancy equipment. But did you know that paleontology also involves a lot of big data and data science too? And going through all that data can get pretty boring. So what's one way that we can go through all this data and not be bored out of our minds? Sonification. So we're going to take around 500 or so million years of life and scrunch it down to about a half a minute of cool audio visuals. And how are we going to do it? So these are the steps we're going to do. We're going to rip it. We're going to lerp it. We're going to norm it. And then we're going to sonify. So here's how to sonify data like this. First, we'll rip some good data from a research paper, assuming you don't already have the data you want to sonify. I'm using a free site called Webplot Digitizer, but there are plenty of them out there. First, we'll open up a sample graph of extinctions and set the limits of the graph, and then we'll plot our data point by point until we get a nice clean data set of about 60 points, representing all major extinctions over time. Every time you heard one of those high notes, you're listening to a mass extinction event, like the Great Permian Extinction and the one at the end of the Cretaceous that killed the dinosaurs. Now, for some types of sonification, you may not need so many data points, but to make those individual piano notes in our example, we need more data points. So we do some lerping, or linear interpolation, and we can use any of these Python libraries to do that. I like NumPy, SciPy, and Pandas. But there are lots of ways to lerp. And there are links below on how to do that. So if I open up our ripped data in Excel and plot the points, you could see that there really aren't too many points. To get more data points, which will be converted into musical notes, we'll lerp by a factor of about 7. So we can get a bit over 400 data points. As you can see, when we plot the graph of the LERP data, there are a lot more points here after LERPing. We'll be using a Python library called MIDI time to sonify our data. MIDI files have a range of 128 notes, so in order to norm or normalize our data, we'll need to divide the maximum number of our data on our y-axis into 128, and then get rid of any decimal points so we have a nice clean integer. Again, here we'll be using a factor of about 7 to multiply our data by in order to get a nice full range of notes. But this range is entirely up to your artistic musical desires. You can see here how we multiply this multi-factor by each point of data and then turn these into notes using MIDI time. There's a link below with info on how you can do this yourself. Then our final step is to take the output MIDI file and import it into a program like a digital audio workstation. I use a really great free one called LMMS. The example you heard was piano, but it could really be any instrument in the world. Here are a few different instruments that come with LMMS. You can make lots of cool sounds and effects with your sonified data. My hope is to be able to make actual cool music out of sonified data, and I'll post some more videos on this soon. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.